and we are recording. And I'm, I'm really excited for this interview with Idayat Giannadu. Um, she yeah. is from Nigeria, and we're going to talk about a few different things. Um, so so um, Idayat, could you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Idea Chinodu, and I am from Nigeria. I studied peace building and conflict resolution here in, in Nigeria, and it's nice to talk to you or to talk with you all. Thank, um, thanks, um, thanks very much. And, and actually, I, uh, the, um, the way that we got in touch with each other is you, um, you, were, um, you were talking about a YouTube video that you're making, and yeah. you, um, and and you um, you stutter, and this, so you, you were trying to make this uh, you were trying to make this YouTube video, and then edit out all of the stuttering, and it was just getting so overwhelming. Um, so uh, so so I thought uh, so I thought that if we did this interview, then it would it would help you to build your confidence to start your YouTube channel, and then um, and then um, like we talked uh, like we talked about before, then then I have um, I, I I don't stutter, but I have something called cluttering. Which uh, which sounds a lot like stuttering, but it's um, it, it's a little bit different with, in a few ways, and and, and with me then uh, with me then I, I kind of did the same thing that you did um, the very first videos I ever made. Then I spent a whole bunch of time like practicing and repracticing and just worried about worried about my voice and what if what if I mess up, um, but now um, now I uh, now I kind of have a challenge to um, to put out a lot of content. And so now I don't worry so much when I mess up on my uh, when I mess up on my voice or when I repeat words or when I re repeat other stuff. So, um, so 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 I thought that if we um, I thought I thought that if we had this interview and then um, and then you saw um, you saw me messing up and um, and you saw hey I'm okay that, that, that maybe it would be uh, that, that maybe it would be good motivation for for you to do that uh, for you to do that too. And then, um, Thank you. Um, and then you, um, you, you also have a very, very nice um, speaking voice. So, um, so, so from my perspective, oh, thank you. Uh, for, from my perspective, I, I would like to listen to your speaking voice. Um, uh, if you stutter or if you don't stutter, I think, um, I think both are, um, I, um, I think it's, I think you have a very nice voice to listen to on YouTube. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's nice to hear. Thank you. Um, you're, um, you're, um, you're, you're welcome. And, um, could you talk? Um, could you talk about what your idea for your your YouTube channel is? Uh, you, um, you talked about you talked about that it would be challenges, but but could you go into a little bit of detail about what what you want for your YouTube channel? Okay, okay, okay. So um, my I plan my YouTube channel to be challenge channel. I got the inspiration from 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 watching a favorite of mine that is Sosola Sido on, on, a, on a YouTube. So I watch her videos a lot. I got the and I got the inspiration to start a challenge with uh, uh, that video of myself. So I plan to challenge myself to do a lot of things like cook because they they because they are really a food that I can cook here like here in like I can like I can Nigeria. So I plan to learn how to cook them as a challenge and post them on the channel yoga dancing. I am a big fan of K-pop so so I plan to learn how to dance to um, Blackpink and Mamamoo and Red Velvet and BTS and everything. And then post this, 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 on my channel. So I also plan to give my unpopular opinions every now and then because they are, they are usually very Controversial, so I think it's a challenge for myself to to say this opinions out there. So that's what I want to make my YouTube channel about, and give a little bit of story about my lifestyle, how I eat, 
how I go to school, my course, and everything. So that's what I planned for the journey. And that sounds like a really, really cool um, channel. So I, so I really hope that you, um, I, I really hope that you keep develop, developing it. So, um, so I want to, um, I want you. to, um, you're, um, you're, you're welcome. And I want to hear one of your unpopular opinions. Oh, what, 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 one of my unpopular opinions. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. One of them is that, oh my God, that is really out of my head right, right now. Okay, one of them is, is that like, I think um, people, I think pe a lot of people have a misconception of what or on what love is. That is one of my unpopular opinions because we are raised, we were all raised with a very, uh, we were all raised with, with a very, uh, uh, with, with, with very, with, with, with very different backgrounds and, and like everything. So I think a lot of us have misconceptions on what love is. And I also think that body neutrality is better than body positivity. Huh, and that's um, that's really um, that, um, that's really um, that's really interesting about um, uh, that's really interesting about body neutrality more than body um, body positivity. Yeah, because, and and that's actually something that I've been yeah. thinking a lot about. Uh, that's that's actually th something that I've been thinking yeah. a lot about too, uh, because a lot of times I tend to think in terms of good and bad. Um, but then I think like, like like deep down I think that everything is kind of everything is kind of connected. And um, and and like if some uh, like like there shouldn't really be good and and bad is just like aspects of aspects of everything. So so I really um, I um, okay. I really think it's interesting about like body neutrality versus body positivity. Yeah, I love it too. It is what I mean, and that's keeping me insane for some for for a while now because I. I arrived at the point this last year that like I won't always feel beautiful every day. And the movement that that tells me to love myself based on how I I look is not for for me. So instead I'm choosing to focus on what my body can do for me. My body capabilities, I can dance, I can jump, I can talk, I can walk. And I'm choosing to derive my self-love and my confidence from what my body can do and what I can do instead of how I look like. So that's why I prefer body neutrality. Uh, okay. Yeah, and that's um, I think that's a very healthy way of looking at it. So that's uh, that's really uh, that's really cool. So so when uh, when when you first started talking about unpopular opinions, I thought you were going to talk about Donald Trump. Um, I'm I'm originally I, I'm from America, but I live in Thailand. Um, so um, so so I thought you were going to have some opinions about Donald uh -oh. Trump. <laughs> oh no, that's no no no, I don't. Okay, okay. I don't have an opinion. I, um, I, um, I try to um, I try to not like get too much into politics on my um, on my interviews, but um, but I think um, some sometimes it's hearing it, sometimes it's funny hearing. Um, uh, uh, people like out, people hearing what people outside of America think of Donald Trump. Um, so, 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 um, where um, are you in? Are you in school right now? And where, where, where do you go to school? Yes, I, I am in school right now. I school here in Nigeria. Uh, and and what are you studying? Peace building and conservation, war, climate change, gender studies, arms, as a theory. That's that's what we study. That is what I studied in school. Uh, okay, and that's um, it, it. Sounds like that, or it sounds like that major covers a whole bunch of different topics. So, um, so, so which of uh, which yeah. of all those which of all those topics are you the most interested in? 
Okay, um, I am interested in the criminal aspect of it and gender too, but I'm mostly interested in crime and violence on that peace building and conflict resolution because we it is, it is part of what we we we, we studied in school. It's part of our syllabus. So I'm really interested in crime and violence. And my thesis is also about how poverty is a, is, 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 is a source for crime and conflict. So that's what my, my thesis is about. Uh, and 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 why does um, what why does that interest you the most? Mm, I'm just interested in it because I I love how it is. I, I love the study of human behavior. I find it very that very interesting. And to start, and to go into crime and deviancy, we have to go into theories of, 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 of crime. So those are the psychological theory of crime, the biological the industry of crime and, and exterior. So I'm really interested in human behavior. It is something I love a lot. I did that so I am interested in gender as much as crime. Oh, um, cool. That's uh, that. Um, that's that, that's interesting that you're so excited about um, that and that you're learning so much. So, um, so, so I want to talk yeah, about. You. Uh, I want to talk about. I want to talk about cooking and your uh, and your cooking challenges. So, so I'm. Um, I I usually um, I usually buy um, buy all my food from like either either street vendors or or like um, I go to restaurants. I I don't cook very much. Um, I don't cook very much okay. now. But, um, but 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 recently uh, recently I decided to cook a little bit more and I got um, so 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 the, the most that I cook is like ramen um, like, uh, like like the instant noodles and then add add the packet um, but but I I got a sauce pan and I'm, I'm starting to like boil boil vegetables um, so um, but but I um, right now I just do really really simple stuff so so pretty much anything uh, pretty much anything even like instant noodles is a is a <laughs> challenge for me. Um, so, yeah. so I want to hear about your, I want to hear about your cooking, cooking challenges and, and what's, um, what, um, what, what can you cook, cook right now? And then what do you think in the future you, you think would be an interesting cooking challenge? Okay, okay, okay. There's a food in my hometown here in Nigeria. We call, yeah, it is called pounded yam. We pound the yam with mortar and pears too. So it, it takes about 10 minutes, and that is like depending on the on the on the amount of yam that we are pounding at that moment. So that food is a very big challenge for me. And I like every time my mom asks me to like, let us pound yam, I grumble a lot because like because like because it's stressful. Very, 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 very stressful. And the food is, is the major food that we eat here in my hometown in Nigeria. So, if, so my challenge for food, for, my challenge for my channel is to try to yam alone from beginning to, to, to end. Because as of now, my, my mom still assist in the in the, in the yam pounding process, like maybe like, like the pouring of water and the packing of the yam, the adding of water, water and everything. So, so I want to challenge myself to pound it from beginning to the end without uh, help or, or or anything. And and and, and in the future, I hope to know how to pound yam very well, like because. That food, if you're not careful with it, you can find lumps in, in it. Lumps, 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 lumps. Let's like small lumps in it. So I hope to know how to count yam enough to not find any lump in it. So, so I, 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 I was planning to, to challenge myself to pound yam with my, my mom's assistance. 
So that was my talent about going to be about. Cool. That's um, that sounds uh, that sounds like a really interesting challenge, and um, and would be uh, um, sounds like it'd be really delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Do you So is is your mom is your mom a good cook? Yeah, she is a very good cook. My mom is, is a very good cook. <laughs> and um, and then um, you um, you you're also you're also thinking of dancing and yoga challenges too, right? Yes, 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 yes. Um, I dance too. And then are um, ha ha have you taken uh, have you taken dance classes, or are you a professional dancer, or is this something that you're new and starting out on? No, um, I follow dance steps on YouTube. I I watch uh, uh, dance play videos on YouTube and, and try to follow them. I learned it by Mama Mo through that process. It took me about three weeks to learn, but I got it eventually. If by Mama Mo, and I dance to go to to K-pop. I mostly only dance to K-pop now, and that's what I plan to make my channel about. Dance Blackpink, Red Velvet, BTS, Mama Mo to anyone in the area. Very, um, I, I'm so, I was not that. So, um, so that, so that sounds very, very cool. Um, I hope, um, I hope that you do Yeah, that. thank you. Um, on your, on your YouTube thank channel. Thank you. So, um, so, so can you, you, um, so, so can you talk about, can you talk about stuttering and um, can, can you talk about like your your earliest memories of stuttering and like like throughout your life has your stuttering gotten um, better or worse or uh, uh, um, just um, just just like can you talk about okay. stuttering throughout your life? Okay. Um, according to my memories, if I trust them, and I think I do, I did not start out when I was small, like before. I, I did not start for I remember from, from what, what, what I remember. But then after I go to high school, yeah, we call it secondary school yeah, in Nigeria. So it's it was six years ago from JS1 to let's say SS, SS let's say period. I don't remember starting in in Jesus, but then when I got to SS1, my father got much worse than before. So I started every time from from then, and I was thinking that like maybe it was as a result of when I passed through when I was SS1 because you know you used to bully me. So I was thinking that, that like that, that, that like maybe I started to, to, to start as a result of the trauma. But I had my friends and they told me, my childhood friends, and they told me that like, I have been searching rise from when I, I was young. So right now my story is, is more short than, than but I was, People, who, 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 I, 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 I've seen like, like someone that came to meet me, 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 me and told me that like he thought I would have stopped uh, stamming by now, like because he believes like all stuff that goes away as the person is is going up, but mine is is worse than than before. Like right now, when I was in GS, I was just about 10 years old or 12 years old. My struggle, I did not even re remember stuttering then. But then from age 14 to date, I started very, 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 very well. Yeah, it's there. And 
now that I'm in the midst of now that I'm in the midst of people, I feel it more now. And thankfully, I have friends that that don't um that don't remind me that that I thought of. So that's why I'm not a fan of meeting new people because I, I because I don't like to watch their facial expressions as the year is total for the, for the first time. Although when I start out in the midst of people, of people I don't know, they tend to pay a, a, attention like to me, like more attention like, like to me. So, but, 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 but sometimes the facial expressions can be disappointing. And, 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 and painful too. So, so, but I'm happy to notice it. There's nothing I can do to change people's feelings about Jesus. So, so, that is what I think. And, then, <laughs> and that's uh, that's really uh, that's really interesting. And then, especially because, well, well I think that. Um, I think that a lot of times when people first meet someone that stutters, then then they're really not sure. Uh, um, like 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 there are some uh, there are some people that aren't nice, but 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 I think most people are nice, but and and they just uh, they're just really not sure like what uh, what to do, um, and um, and so uh, um, and so. So yeah, that's uh, uh, that uh, that makes a lot of sense. That if you're if you're looking at someone and you can see their face change. Then it's just not not fun to keep trying to talk to them. Yeah, I think I got to master or less that because of this. But when I talk to people now, I tend to look at their faces, like their facial expressions. I I was talking to a girl and she was trying so hard to keep herself from laughing when I was talking. So it's like something I do now. And most of the ways, the ways, the ways, all the ways, the ways, because apparently I'm taking too long to finish it. So that is what they do. And, and um, I don't enjoy people editing my sentences from me. And um, can you um, can you talk about that? Um, because I've I, I've heard that from well I think probably everyone that I know um, who stutters they say I really don't like it when people finish my sentences. So 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 can you um, can you talk more about that? Like why uh, why you don't like it when people finish your sentences and um, and then like, like like what people should do instead of finishing your sentences? Okay, it's like. I feel in I feel I feel in adequate when people finish my my sentence. So it's like I, I it's like I know what, what I'm saying. I know I I want to say I I I am a girl. So I know it. So it's like you are not ready to use the to, to me to talk. So that's why you tend to feel that. So that's why you tend to let let finish it for me and I think it was a lot of them that mean I find it um, painful they just do it like because they think they are helping me and 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 I don't see it as helpful I thought, I thought, I know what I'm saying because if they're, if they're talking to a person who talks without a stutter, you are you need to listen to them talk to, and say everything that they want to say. So don't finish my words like, like for me. I know what I want to say. It's taking me a longer period of time to to finish this. but I know what I'm about to say. Like so when someone finishes my sentence for me, I feel dumb. I feel like 
I'm not in no of our times. Like, like it's very obvious that I'm different from like from like if if let's say a whole let's say it's five percent. Yes, and also they'll be able to finish my sentences because because it is seen as normal. So I'm here talking, I am finishing my 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 sentence. It is obvious that you are different from the investors and I have to be in the quick and dumb a lot of the times. So that's why I, I don't like it. Yeah, and that um, and that makes uh, that makes a lot of sense. So, so do people um, do people laugh at you very often, or or is that um, that that lady that laughed at you was that uh, was that pretty rare, or or has that happened very often where someone laughs at you when you are stuttering? What is it? I did not hear. Oh, um, you you mentioned someone that when you were stuttering, then she laughed at you, and and okay, and. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering, does that happen very often, or, um, or, 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 or was it just something that happened um, one time and then it hurt a lot? Oh, uh, I talk to my friends, they know I stutter, so so it doesn't happen a, a lot of, of, of the time. But really, everyone that that's why for no that's lack because I'm stuttering. Nothing that I should they don't laugh like ha 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 just smile and try to cover their their smile. And it's all because I can see things. It's like something I monitor. I monitor like people's expressions a lot when I'm talking to them. So it is not the smell of oh, oh, good. It is a mouse now, so I can differentiate this thing too. Although it happens once in a while, though, like everyone's in a while, that's when I experience it. Not always. They uh -huh. to me, so they don't laugh. And is is there anything is there anything else that you would like people to know about stuttering or or what else uh, what, what what advice would you give to someone that has a friend who stutters? The thing is that like um, one of my friends told told me that um, if you put them in a post where people will need you, you would have no choice but to listen to you speak. And I thought about it, and 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 actually true. So I I like 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 imagine you are sick, like you are sick, and you need the help of a doctor, and the doctor is a, is a torturer. Are you going to leave the doctor, or you are going to actually wait and listen to him or her finish everything they have to say because you need them at that moment so 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 after my friend told me that i was i was relieved somehow and i was happy that at least there's something that that i can do but the thing i think but but like what i think about myself is that at one point i just decided to say what i want to say and just ignore the people that are watching me. Like I just stand in front of people and forget about the fact that they are there. So I'm just talking. Oh, and like I'm just talking. And if they listen, good. If they don't, good. So so that's what I do at, at, at most of the times to, to to get through myself. Because in school we have to do a lot of species and and uh, like that species and workshops and and 
and and and a um, uh, presentations that that actually requires us to talk you know so and and at that point i have no choice so and so when, when i stand in front of my class to give my speech i forget my classmates are there i forget my my lecturers are there i just talk and because i stutter i do stutter at times and one thing I tend to do is skip my words. I skip a lot of words. So let's say I'm about to say I am a girl. I can sense that they're like I will start with a girl. So I change a girl with, with, with another word or skip it. So that's what I tend to do at times. So let's say I want to start out with I have one head, so I can change it to I have a brain, or just ignore the head word entirely. I just keep holding next certain things, and <laughs> and and like and because of that, a lot of people don't don't actually understand what, what what I'm saying because I'm skipping words, skipping words, skipping words. So so so. So a lot of the times I just change it. I change the, the word because if I try to say that word, I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to get it out. And people are not patient at all. So I just change it. That is what I do or skip it. So if you have so like so if you have a problem with with them such thing. I'm about to get to a part where you know you start just try just try changing your words to like to understand. instead of saying I am ugly, you can say I am not fine because not fine and ugly are, are two different words that that really comes out differently. So I am ugly. If you sense you are going to start out with OB, you can just let into I am not fine. But in that I, I don't know if a, if, 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 if a lot of stutterers can sense when they want to start do, but I can. I sense it. So I tend to I tend to like prepare to change my words or skip it. So that's how I get to start at times. And that people opinions about me don't matter. It, it is a projection of themselves. When I was in like in secondary school, then a teacher called me generator for 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 stammering. I was going. I was like it was hard for me to bring out that. The, that word. So so he called me a generator to insult me. At that time, I took it personal and I cried and everything. But now I I I realized that what what he said is a projection of himself. It's just it's just projecting his his behavior or whatever it, it is on me. And that comment, it is not about me, but he himself, because the same person who, has, who is nice and good and okay won't call an, another person a generator. So it is this problem, not mine. So if people laugh at you or insult you or mock you or anything, it is them. It is their feelings, their projections, their everything. It is uh, not yours. So that's how I navigate as a structure. And um, and that's really that's, um, that's really really interesting. Thanks for um, thanks for sharing all of that. And and I think the um, I, I think the most interesting thing. Thank that, you. You're welcome, Rada. I think the most interesting thing that I don't think people realize is 
when, uh, when someone's stuttering, like what's going on in their head. And I really like how you described it because uh, because I I'm um, I've I've talked to a lot of or I've talked to enough people with stuttering to know that uh, what's going on in their head while they're stuttering is just a whole bunch of like really um, like, like oh well could, um, could I say this word instead I know I'm going I know I'm going to say this word in um, in the next sentence and and can I say mm -hmm. another word so so even though um, I think even though sometimes when someone's stuttering, then their speech is a little bit slow. What's going on in their head is very, very, very fast. So, um, so, so I really like how I really yes, like how you, exactly. I really like how you describe that because I think I think that's something that most people don't really understand of like when someone's stuttering, what's uh, what, what what's going on in their head, and you did a really good job of explaining that and breaking it down. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, um, so, so, so one of the things I wanted to talk about is Nigeria, and um, and Nigeria is yeah. Nigeria is a pretty big country, um, and and it's um, it's, uh, it's it's got a it's got a big part of the, it's got a big part by the ocean, and then it's got um, a lot of like desert too, right? Um, so, um, so, oh, so not a lot this, of it's not about and um, and so I, I I've never been to I, I've never been to Nigeria before so so I'm hoping that you can talk about like, like talk about Nigeria talk about where you're from and then talk about like like where is it in relation to to um, Lagos is the capital right um, so, so so talk about wh wh where you're from where is it in relation to the capital and the ocean and then and then some other interesting stuff about Nigeria. Okay okay okay. Nigeria is the giant of Africa. We are the most populated black country in the world, I think. Yeah, Nigeria it is. So we are the giant of Africa, and we are black. Say, so Nigeria and in Nigeria, I, I am from. I I am a 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 Yoruba girl from Nigeria. So and so Yoruba is a tribe from Nigeria. But the three major ones are Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa. So I belong to the Yoruba country. And Nigeria is a very nice country. Um, and the ocean you talk about, it is in Lagos. And Lagos is the capital, oh no. Uh, and Lagos is the, is the happening state of, of Nigeria. It's like the New York of Nigeria. That's Lagos. Our capital is the or the Ectas, or the, um, and the Asurok is located um, our our presidential villa is called Asuroke. the one in the u.s is the white house ours is Asuroke. we call it Asuroke yeah, in nigeria in nigeria we have a lot of tourist places and do you know that uh, my state is where the cold water and the warm, and warm water meets, like the only place in the world where the cold water and water meets, and always warm. It is always warm. It is a kitty state. And it is called a cobbler's warm, warm. So it's very nice. Nigeria is nice. And you talk about the desert. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, um, yeah, I'm um, sorry. Can you say that again? You talked about the, the deserts, the, the, the deserts, right? We, we, we don't have a lot of deserts here in Nigeria. But the, the northern part of Nigeria is like it is similar to that, and, uh, and it's because of lack of rain. Like the rain is not 
like the rain there is not as frequent as it is here. I, I stay in um in, 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 in southern Nigeria. Uh, okay. the north is the rain don't don't make fall as much as it does here. Okay. So yeah. um, and that's why uh, that's why I that's why I asked about it because I saw a I I think it was a rainfall map of Nigeria and the very north gets almost no rain at all and then and, and then next to uh, uh, Shilohu, yes yes like by the ocean gets lots and lots of rain I think if, if I read the if I read the map correctly so so how how far yeah are yeah yeah rains don't really fall enough so. <laughs> So, so how how far are you to La um, Lagos? Oh, to Lagos, like seven hours. Okay. It's seven hours on road. It was seven hours. That's how far I am from 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 Lagos. It is seven hours later today. I stay. Okay, and um, and and I think this um, I think this is a good um, I think this is a good stopping point. We talked about a lot of interesting stuff. We talked about your YouTube channel, which I hope that you start making videos for because it sounds like a really really cool concept. Yeah. And we talked we talked about stuttering, and and a lot of really interesting stuff about stuttering. And then we talked about uh, we talked about Nigeria. Yeah. And um, and so so thank you um, thank you so much for um, talking about all that and um, and giving um, yeah, you're giving uh, because uh, because you're a really fascinating person and, and I really hope that you don't get discouraged and you keep making YouTube videos. What you say? I am a really fast word. Um, so I'm sorry. Say say that again. I said I did not know what you said. You said I really fast. I really oh, so, um, so so I really I really enjoyed talking to you because we talked about a lot of really interesting things. Oh, me too. Um, we, talked, we talked about your YouTube channel yeah. and we talked, about, we talked about stuttering and then we talked about Nigeria. I think really interesting um, subjects. So so before um, before we finish. Do you do you have any other things you want to talk about before we finish? Mm. Um, well, I write to I write I'm a writer. I have a blog and I write songs too. I've written a couple now. I've written no, I've I've, I've written about five songs now, and I have a blog where I talk about well-being, lifestyle, feminism, and relationship. So, and um, then, um, and then right now, I, I, I just want to focus on now, instead of thinking about, instead of worrying about the future, because I think worry a lot, what will happen, what will happen to me, then let me pause by when I have you, I'm not blah, 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 my defenders, my defenders, defending, everything. So, right now, I'm focusing on doing what I can to enjoy the process of living, living with, with um, let's say, intention now. Yeah, I'm living with with, 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 with intention. And one thing I did not, I forgot to, to mention the, like the, like the other time is that when I start, uh, like when I'm talking, I tend to use the word to, to let's say it as a bridge between, between two words. I don't know if you notice my use of like, like I tend to say like in the middle of words. I am like a girl. So, so the like is there to, to create a bridge. So I think the like is like the word that helps me not to stutter. That is another an, thing I do. I do like, 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 like. So, so someone who don't know me will, will that's why I use a lot of like. 
but I know I use it to block, to act as a bridge for my words to land. So the, so the first part, we land safely on the other side. So that's what I do too. Uh, okay, and that's uh, that's really uh, that's really interesting too, especially like using a bridge for words so that you can um, so that you can pronounce yeah. them. So so thank you thank you so much. Um, this has been a really nice conversation. Thank you too for giving me this platform. And I really thank I, you I for really, creating this really, opportunity really, for me to talk about these things. I really enjoy and appreciate it. Thank you. Um, thank you too. Thank you so much. Um, thank you.